Hello everyone. In the discussion on the topic participation constraints. Participation constraint specifies the number of instances of an entity can participate in a relationship set. Participation constraints end on means another. That is, this is a diagram. This is a rectangle. Entity set in a represent another. This is a diamond shape. Relationship in a represent another. So, participation constraints means this entity set in a Ethra entities are in a relationship associated with Main item participation constraints are in the type of total participation and partial participation. First one is total participation. Total participation is what means? That is, this entity is set in a relationship participate in Total participation specifies that each entity in the entity set must compulsorily participate in at least one relationship instance in that relationship. Total participation is double line kondana represent the So that is what Next is partial participation. Partial participation end means mean say another. That is this entity set is all entities. This relationship is Participate in That is, it specifies that each entity in the entity set may or may not participate in the relationship instance in that relationship. Partial participation is single line represent. This is an example. This is a diagram. This is the entity set. A and B. This e entity set in the relationship R represent. So, A is the entity set R is the total participation. Because A is the entities. Entities are E1, E2, E3, E4. So, A is the entities. This relationship will participate. So, we will A is the relationship total participation. This entity set B is the same as B R partial participation. Because B is the same as R associated. That is the S5 entity. This relationship set map. So, we will say entity set B R partial participation. This is the real life example. If you have ER diagram, you can see the two entity set. The student entity set and course entity set. This entity set is the relationship. So, this is a binary relationship. The two entity set is the binary relationship. That is the student entity set and course entity set. Enrolled in the relationship associated. So, now we will say that the student entity set is in a relationship with total participation. That is why the course entity set is in a relationship with partial participation. So, now we will say that if each student must enroll in a course, the participation of student will be total. That is why we have a university or college, there are many students. A is one course enrolled. So, that is what we have S1 and S2 C1 are the course. S3 C2 are the So, we have a student entity set. This is a relationship with total participation. That is why one student is one particular course. Now, the course entity set in the case. Course entity set is in a relationship with partial participation. That is, all the college will all the courses that will be students. So, in this example, we will have a C3 course for a student. So, we will have a course entity set in a relationship with partial participation. So, this is the participation constraints. Total participation and Partial Participation So, if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe and subscribe. Thank you.